Hey everybody, how you doing? Jeebs here, RP Jeebs Music Arcade. I wanted to come in a little bit with a little old man wisdom about uh, uh, the layoffs. And I know there's been some big layoffs in the gaming industry with Riot and Microsoft game divisions. As a matter of fact, I was looking it up, you know, like how many layoffs this year has been happening in the gaming world, if at all. Also, I guess a Twitch, I had no idea, Twitch, my beloved Twitch, where I have a fun small community. A uh, bunch of layoffs there, 500 people, uh, which was about 35% of its staff. That was a big chunk of cheese there. And Unity. I, I've never heard of Unity, but I'm an old guy, so I probably would have. It doesn't surprise me I haven't heard of it. But then there's also some other, you know, big layoffs that have happened, I guess. Uh, Epic Games, ByteDance, uh, Roblox, Snap, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I wanted to do this video because um, as somebody who's gone through a lot of things in, in my in my little creative life. These massive layoffs. Also, I mean, it's just been big, big kind of big news, right? UPS laid off like 12,000 people. Google like paid $3 billion in severance last year. Um, and layoffs are just a big news. It's depressing. You know, it, it, when you hear about it, it is kind of heavy, especially if you're the one that got laid off. Uh, but why I wanted to do this uh, briefly was because all the creative people that did get laid off. Uh, it's I, the tech industry is a creative industry. You, if you are in the tech industry, or maybe you're one of the persons that got laid off, and you come across this video, you're a creator. You're an artist. Uh, you're an artist with numbers. You're an artist with, you know, the tools of your trade. You know, I, I don't know too much about gaming physics, but it doesn't matter. Games don't exist without you at some capacity. Uh, I, I liken it to for myself the experience of being a nomadic composer and knowing uh, that our jobs, mine as a composer, your devs, anybody who does anything creative truly, and you get hired and then you don't, you get hired and then you don't. It's a lot like, the, generally, it's like the, the Hollywood, it's, the, it's like the film business, TV business. You know, you get a job, um, you're hopeful that you do well enough, and then the job is over, the euphoria is over, and then you go into a kind of a postpartum panic of like, when is the phone going to ring next or when am I going to get that next email? The big takeaway for me, I can only give you thoughts based on my experience, was when I started off when I was younger and I got my first real gig where I thought, well, I can pay my own rent and everything, you know, in the music industry was in the a uh, little over the mid-80s, 87, <clears throat> was... Um, I, I really kept the nomadic creator lifestyle in mind and I didn't go out and when I did get some money or something like that would and 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 uptick my stuff list. I didn't go out and buy a lot of things and stuff. I realized because I come from a family of composers and stuff that this business is like Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, oh, I got a job. I got a job. This is great. Oh, everything. Maybe the next, oh, geez, two months, three months, five months, six months. And oh, that's it. I'm dying. I got, I'm going to go get a regular job. And then you get another one. It's, it's a lot of anxiety for, for all the people, but even across, even, even a shot across the board, uh, for all the people, even the ones that are not in the gaming world that I mentioned earlier, the one thing that is a hard thing for me as an older person, when I look back and go, wow, heavy heavy world out there is um is the fact that in every sense of the phrase we are all at will and if anybody's ever gotten an acceptance letter those acceptance letter that you know you've you've been hired to get a job and we can hardly wait to work for you we've got this set up for you your access is created here your onboarding you know um notes are going to be here and this is wonderful and this is wonderful then there's always that one paragraph it's like that one paragraph in a record company or a record contract. There's always going to be that one paragraph. And for most people, it's that one paragraph that says at will. However, at any given time, without any notice or any, you know, uh, blah, 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 we can say bye-bye. And that's just what the, the, the world seems to be. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's, it, it, that word at will, too, can, can transcend to relationships. You know, oops, it's just I woke up with a note in my bed. It's over you know, or politically and stuff like that. But for us in the world of, of uh, creativity, the, the new world is the masses amount of creative people that get hired and laid off. Um, uh, it, it, in my world, as, as, as I use as an example, the film and TV industry, it's like everybody knows how to maneuver. If, any, if you're from a grip to a gaffer, if you're below the line, even some of the above the line people in the, in the, uh, in the film TV industry know to prepare for you know, I'm here, I'm working, I'm working, I'm working, I'm working. This is great. This is great. Uh, and no more movie. Uh, I think I got a movie coming in three or four months. So, you know, you plan on 
how are you going to take these moments and make the money that you're making, manage that money, manage that, that, that stream of income, um, and make a part of your industry as a, a creative individual, the understanding that there is an ending uh, to these jobs. And how do you plan for that? You know, your unemployment, how long does that stretch for and stuff? It's, it's, it's something that's learned. You know, just because I'm saying it doesn't mean it's easy to do. It's something to learn. It would be great to have a sick gig that takes you all the way through your whole life. But that I don't I, that just is not there anymore. You know, I don't think I don't know, but I don't think. But it, it it is truly a unique thing that we all have to go through when we're creative. And 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 and, not, and like I said, even in my earlier examples, you don't have to be creative in, in the in the in the sense of, let's say, the, the layoffs of like UPS and other jobs that are traditional jobs, you know. Massive layoffs have been around for quite a while, you know, back in the day, massive layoffs at GM or, you know, any auto industry or major industry, you know, but it's truly a unique situation in this post industrial age world that we live in. I don't know what compelled me to do this, but I think is kind of like, <laughs> kind of like this, you know, Obi-Wan Kajibski. That's what my friend calls me because I sit there and I start to ponder and I philosophize, 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 whatever. And, um, you know, hang in there, guys, uh, all of you who got laid off. And, and for those of you who might be, you know, if that's a big shot over the bow and you wonder if you're going to get laid off, life is about planning now in a very unique way. And, um, uh, you know, if, if, you, if, you, if you take that to task, then these ups and downs, you know, you find that middle road, you'll survive it. But uh, anyhow, I just wanted to put that out there. It's told, I don't think I've ever done something like this on this channel. I do have another little channel where I'm like old man fart talking about wisdom, philosophical stuff. Every now and then you might see me share it on the community tab. I wanted to do it here because I have become a very huge fan of the gaming world and a huge fan of, of everybody that's involved in it because of all the music that has I've listened to. And then, of course, I do have some itty bitty level two understanding of gaming physics and what it takes to put it out, you know, when it comes to the creative aspect. You know, and so I have a, a deep respect for that. And I just want to be that guy to say, hey, just just hang in there, man. Figure out your path. You, you got it. You got hired in that company because you were really good. And now you just have to go, OK, I'm really good. And I'm really good at going in this direction now. That's that. That was my moment of gaming zen. You know, so you guys just everybody have a great evening, morning, lunch, whenever it is that you're seeing this. And uh, don't forget to count the wins. And I'm going to go back into my Patreon. If, you, if you'd like to support me, you can check me out on the Patreon. You can buy me a cup of coffee. Links are down below. My Twitch channel is down below. And um, I'm going to go through this Patreon list. And, dude, there's a bunch of stuff here. There's something here uh, called Pal, Pal World. Pal World. I'm getting a few requests for that. And everybody wants me to do the rest of the Baldur's Gate um, 3 listen. So I'm thinking of, of, of getting up on that. Anyhow, this was a long video. I uh, didn't mean to make it run this fast or this long. Um, just like I said, just wanted to just share some positivity in, 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 in a time where it's pretty heavy for a lot of people, but there's always a path out.